So as we know, Apple had a little MacBook refresh this week. They got rid of the MacBook 12 inch. They updated the lower end MacBook Pro 13 inch models and they updated the MacBook Air and got rid of the old design and actually lowered the price of the baseline new model. And as of right now, it's priced very similarly to the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, especially if you buy it with education pricing. So whether you're a student, a creative professional, or someone who just is in the market for both these devices, today I'm here to ask a couple rhetorical questions in order to help you determine which device is right for you. But before we begin here, I'd really appreciate it if you'd smash that like button, leave me a comment, whether it's a question, suggestion, or an opinion. Any interaction really helps my channel as the algorithm likes that and will push my videos to more people. So once again, your likes and comments are much appreciated. So without further ado here, let's try to determine whether the MacBook Air or the iPad Pro is the right device for you. So the first question I gotta ask, and I'm gonna keep things pretty informal here, I don't really have a formal script, um, do you prefer touchscreen or trackpad? This is a pretty simple question, and it all depends on how you like use your device, how you're oriented, you know. Both offer fine point, you know, interaction. You have the Apple Pencil with the iPad Pro and the trackpad with the MacBook Air. So you can just kind of do some like low key scrolling and like multi-touch stuff here and just kind of be chill. You know, you have your arms just kind of set in one place. Or with the iPad Pro, you know, you have more mobility as of where you can hold it, you can lie in your couch and use it. You can't really lie in your side and use your MacBook Air. But I gotta say, like, in some cases, having a MacBook or a laptop format just feels better, you know, at a table, I would say, when you're sitting somewhere, maybe on a train or a bus, you know, you're doing work on an airplane, I would say, especially when you're doing a lot of typing and just other work, a MacBook might be more the device for you. Or if you're doing, like, artsy stuff where you're at, like, a desk and you need the Apple Pencil and you want to take advantage of a big touchscreen to draw, then the iPad Pro is probably going to be the right device for you. So yeah, just think about where and when you're going to be using these devices, you know, how you're going to be using them, like the orientation of how you're going to be holding it, whatever. And that might help you determine which one of these devices to pick up. So this first question or topic kind of segues into the next question and topic. How much typing do you do? So with the iPad Pro, you can get like a keyboard case from Apple or Logitech. There's a bunch of third party cases and you can totally do it. And it's a good experience, you know, with Bluetooth and the Pro connector, it's totally seamless. You can type and use the Apple Pencil as a cursor and whatever. Great experience. But I gotta say, if you're typing a lot of papers, if you're responding to a lot of emails, having a built-in keyboard, albeit one that's kind of like, yeah, you know, like the butterfly mechanisms aren't the greatest, at least it's a built-in keyboard. And you know, Mac OS is kind of designed for a lot of typing. So once again, if you're someone who's responding to emails, typing up documents day in and day out, the MacBook Air or a laptop for that matter is probably gonna be the better device for you. Now, if you're doing a lot of typing or, you know, modern typing, and you want to have the iPad OS experience and you want to have the touchscreen like I asked in question one, then you probably should go with the iPad Pro and sacrifice that just, you know, convenience that you get with just opening up your laptop and getting typing rather than having to, you know, find a good surface to get your iPad on because you can't really like use your iPad Pro in your lap with like a folio style case. And even if you had those clamshell, you know, like MacBook or laptop style iPad Pro cases, it's still not the same experience where you can just be typing and just use a trackpad and kind of like move the cursor around and select and copy and paste and stuff. So yeah. If you are a typist, if your work relies a lot on typing, get a MacBook Air. If not, and you, know, you do more modern typing or just not all the time, then the iPad Pro might be the device for you if you're willing to work with it. The third question I wanna ask is what kind of work you're doing? And this might surprise you, but the iPad Pro is actually more powerful than the MacBook Air by a lot, especially in multi-core scores. So if you're doing video editing, I never thought I'd say this, go with an iPad over a laptop or the MacBook Air. You can use LumaFusion, it's a really great experience. You can edit 4K videos with the Apple Pencil. It's just awesome. And the iPad Pro has a lot of capability. But if you're doing everyday stuff, you know, like web surfing, email, you know, maybe some light photo editing with Lightroom and some light photo work with Photoshop, both of these devices can do that work and do it very well. So you're going to probably have to refer to my previous questions and see, you know, what kind of input you like and if you want the Apple Pencil or not, etc, etc. But yeah, both these devices do everyday stuff really great, but obviously there are some caveats with both. And there's going to be one format that you prefer the most. That's why I suggest you go to the store and use them yourself. The fourth question is pretty similar to the third question. It's just more specific, but yeah, I mean, all these questions are pretty much interrelated. That question is, are you a developer? And I actually got a comment like this. Someone said, you know, I do Xcode development. I like code apps with Swift, and I'm wondering if I should buy a laptop or this to make apps for iOS. 
and I'm like, I don't really know. And I did some research and turns out you cannot compile code or program with an iOS or an iPad OS device at the moment. So yeah, you don't really have a choice if you are a developer, if you make apps for all of us. Thank you, by the way, um, you got to use a MacBook or a laptop for that matter. So unfortunately, even if you love the iPad format, you don't really have a choice here. The fifth question I have for you is, you know, how much battery life are you expecting out of this device? And both of them, you know, can get you well over, you know, six, seven hours of screen on time. But actually the MacBook Air is a better performer. I don't own the MacBook Air and I haven't used the iPad Pro long enough to give you an accurate reading of my battery life. But looking at several tests done in the past, it appears that the iPad Pro, at least the 11 and the 12 can get you over seven hours. The Pro 11, more like eight hours. And the MacBook Air can get you around 10 and a half hours of screen on time. So if you're someone who needs to have your device on all day, then the MacBook Air might be the better device for you if you're willing to sacrifice the iPad experience. But if you really want that iPad experience, then I guess you can just plug into charge at some points. And you also have to remember both these devices can charge via USB Type-C, so battery banks will work. So yeah, I mean, if you are an absolute nut about battery life, the MacBook Air might be the device for you. But if you can handle some intermediate charging here and there, both devices are pretty much fine in terms of battery life, and you should refer once again to my previous questions to help you make a decision here. And the last question I have with you is, you know, how okay are you with iPad OS and are you absolutely in need of a, you know, desktop or laptop operating system like Mac OS? Because at the end of the day, Mac OS is going to be more useful in some ways than iPad OS. While iPad OS has made iPad much more useful, it still isn't quite the Mac experience. And if you're someone who needs finder and better file management and just all the features that come with Mac, more inputs, etc., you're probably gonna wanna stick with a MacBook Air, although iPad is really fun. But if you are someone who's willing to work around some of the compromises you have to make, iPad Pro is a really fun device and I love using it on the day to day, especially with Apple Pencil, with handwriting notes and all this stuff. It's just different from the classic laptop experience. And it might, once again, make your work more fun. So once again, if you are in need of a desktop or laptop operating system, especially with, you know, the apps that come with it, then you're probably going to want to stick with a MacBook Air or an even better laptop than that. But once again, if your workflow is compatible with the iPad Pro, then by all means get it. It's a very fluid and fun experience, as I've said again and again. And yeah, that about wraps things up. I hope this video helped you out, whether you're a creative professional, a student, a businessman looking to buy either of these devices. Um, they're both great and you can't really go wrong with either. I suggest you go in store and test them out yourself and also consider the rhetorical questions that I've asked you and just kind of, you know, keep bringing them up in your mind, seeing what device really is at the end of the day, right for you and your workflow. I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions or suggestions or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah and I will catch you all in the next one.